Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Praetorian, and welcome back to Hearts Farm 4, as we are playing with the People's Republic of China. At the end of last episode, we had a successful invasion of Japan, taking this fairly small port here, uh, so we will need to increase the size of that port. That should probably be a priority, because there are no more ports until we get uh, across that strait there, so sometimes, if there's a large enough defense, it could be difficult to to get in there. Uh, so what we'll do is let's just we'll just build it all the way up. I don't know if we'll keep it going. Uh, we'll just have to see. For right now, we'll we'll let them uh, build it as high as they can. Because once again, we just don't know if our efforts to get across this straight one up getting stymied by just too many troops. Uh, you know, also crossing straits can be stopped by uh, enemy navies. Uh, so we just don't know what's going to happen. So we want to make sure that all these troops that I'm pumping over here right now are going to be able to get supplied. Uh, before we actually start the campaign, though, or start the episode, excuse me, I want to talk about a few things in regards to uh, what we're doing with this series and what we're doing with the next series. Uh, so uh, when it comes to this series, obviously with the um, you know invasion of Japan being successful, I'm looking at it as a foregone conclusion that we will have them defeated uh, fairly quickly, uh, hopefully anyways. Uh, we got so many divisions. As long as they don't get sunk in the sea, I just don't see how uh, Japan could stop us from, from conquering them. Also, I have another uh, naval invasion launching here from this army that we had before, but I changed their colors up. Uh, I gave them a couple more divisions, changed their color up. And so they are, uh, this is just that spare division that was sitting over here, excuse me, spare army that was sitting over here. They're gonna be attacking this port just in case, uh, just in case we do have uh, problems up here. So Japan will be defeated fairly soon. Uh, so there's the question of what to do next, because then all of our goals for this campaign would pretty much have been completed, which our goals were to defeat Japan and to conquer all of China. Uh, we've conquered all of China, and so defeated Japan, that's it. That's all I really sought to do with this campaign, because I knew that those were going to be, you know, challenging goals as Communist China, cause Communist China starts so small and so weak. And it was a challenge. We had a good time. Uh, we're what, like, uh, I don't know how many videos we're in now. What's this episode? 18? Yeah, I think it's episode 18. So uh, we're at least 18 videos in, so it took a while. It took us a while to get it done. Uh, so I'm fine with ending this series with the defeat of Japan, uh, if that's what you guys want to do. Uh, if you want to uh, just get the peace treaty, and we'll uh, do the peace treaty with Japan, and then we're done, uh, that'll work for me. Uh, I've already expressed zero interest in fighting in Europe. I, I just don't. I mean, we've already done it a million times. We already know we can. This here is just going to be a slog. Uh, it's just going to take many, many, many videos of just slowly grinding our way over there. It's, uh, once again, not challenging, just more tedious. We have the troop numbers. We have insane numbers of divisions. Uh, if we really commit ourselves to it, we would push them back. Uh, it's a, you know, it will happen. Not a question of if it will happen. So, yeah, I have zero interest in fighting these crappy uh, terrain areas, Siberia, India. Uh, I just don't want to, to fight in those areas uh, with all the attrition and just the slow moving and... I prefer not to do that. Uh, so that's not really a... Uh, and, and plus, as I said, I just don't think it makes sense for China to go fight in Europe. I, I feel like they would just uh, allow uh, the allies in the Axis to just destroy each other. Uh, but what I do, do think it could make sense to do is that China wants complete control of Asia. And so in that, uh, maybe not India, but certain parts of Asia, certainly Indochina, uh, maybe even the Dutch East Indies, perhaps, or even the Philippines. So if we were to want to go ahead and continue the campaign, as I said, it doesn't make any sense to attack the Axis, but we would see if we could leave the Allies. So all this is, of course, dependent on if we can leave the Allies. I believe we should be able to once we're not at war anymore. And if we can leave the Allies, then we would instead, I don't know if we'd join the Axis, but we'd certainly, uh, you know, help them in a way, because we would declare war on the Allies, uh, you know, using those focuses. We would try and get Indochina into our control. I don't know if we'd go into India, probably not much. It looks like Italy would probably have all that done by then. But we could then from there, you know, uh, go down to the Malay Peninsula, you know, get all this conquered, and then maybe even invade into the Dutch East Indies and the Philippines, because navally we might be able to do that. It doesn't feel like the Allies have that many ships uh, here in the Pacific Theater. So we might be able to uh, do naval invasions, plus we're kind of building up a little bit of navy, and we have our Air Force, which has done pretty good against the Japanese Navy. So we could uh, then conquer more areas. At the very least, Indochina, though, feels like that would be necessary uh, and definitely a place we'd want to conquer. Uh, historically, a place where China did exert a lot of influence and control. Not always exactly direct control, but, you know, they often required them to pay them tribute. Uh, so, so, yeah, I think it makes sense for Indochina. 
but maybe even extending past that, uh, as we know, modern China has been trying to exert their influence throughout all Asia. So yeah, I think it makes, uh, I think it would make sense and it'd be fun to do. And it wouldn't require me to go into Europe and to fight through here. Uh, and we could still fight the allies. We would just fight them in a theater we care about. Uh, theater we're trying to gain hegemony over. So what we're going to do is we're going to leave this up to a vote because, you know, obviously if I'm going to continue it, I would like to maintain viewers. So I hope that, you know, people are interested in seeing that. And the only way to really know is to get a poll done. Uh, so if you guys want me to end the series and we'll talk about what we're doing next, because I think that may affect people's decisions. If you guys want me to end the series with the conquest of Japan and the peace treaty, then we can do that. Or uh, you can vote for the other option, which would be to continue the war against the Allies here into Indochina and maybe into the rest of Asia. However, and this is the important part, we are not going to get a peace treaty. We will never actually get con direct control of these. We'll, we'll control them, but we won't own them. Uh, because we're not going to do a peace treaty, because obviously to do a peace treaty with the Allies, we'd have to invade the United States, we'd have to invade the United Kingdom. Both things I have very little interest in doing. Uh, we've already shown that in multiple campaigns we can do it. It's just uh, it's tedious going across the islands. Oh, God. Yeah, and then building up a navy that can deal with the American navy would take forever because navies take a long time to build. you got to conquer Hawaii and then invade from there. And, and yeah, it's just a... Oh, it would be a slog, guys. So, yeah, there's, we're just not doing it. That would be like another 15 episodes, uh, which I have zero interest in doing. Uh, so that's not an option. There won't be a peace treaty. Uh, we'll just conquer them, uh, push the allies out. Uh, they have a lot of troops here, so it would still be a challenge. It would provide you know content for many episodes, many more episodes. Uh, but yeah, we won't get the peace treaty, so that's an important part there. So the vote will be up here in the top right corner. You just click on it and uh, pick your option, which one you want to go with, and whichever one gets the most votes, that's the one we will do. Uh, so the next series, and that this may affect some of your guys' votes, the next series is going to be a modded. Uh, series. Uh, if you are a patron who gives $5 or more per month, uh, I, I put a post up a couple days ago asking what mods you guys want to be on the, the votes. That's one of the uh, benefits of being uh, given a little bit more than a dollar per month is that you do get to help pick options for polls occasionally. So this time, um, yeah, I've got, got that up there. So if you haven't uh, posted your suggestions and you are a patron of that level, uh, then make sure you post those because it's not going to be up much longer because soon we're going to be having the poll up uh, for the patrons, and that's for all patrons, on what the next series is going to be, which mod we're going to be playing with. Uh, we're going to be playing with the Total Overhaul mod. Uh, so, you know, probably not Kaiser Reich. I think that was one I said and we're not going to do because we've already played that one twice. Same thing with the Road to 56 mod. Uh, we played that one twice as well. So I'm looking at mods here that we haven't played two times. Um, you know, we played one or, or not at all. Uh, so quite a few options that uh, some patrons have suggested. So we'll uh, have those in the vote, or a few of them anyway. I'm looking at like maybe three options in the poll. Uh, and that should be up here in a couple days. So if you're a patron of any rank, make sure you go vote for that next series. So that may affect some of your guys' votes, because I know many of you guys have been waiting to see a modded series for a long time. So if you want to see me jump into a mod again, because it's been a while since we played one, uh, then obviously you want to vote for this series to end sooner, uh, so that we can do that modded series. Uh, but yeah, that's it. That's all I had to talk about. Did a uh, it did carry on a little bit longer than I expected, but uh, I did want to put that out there because a lot of questions are, are already starting and are going to continue on what's next uh, and what's next for the, the campaign and what's next uh, for the uh, Hordes of Iron... Um, I tried to say Hoi 4 and Hearts of Iron 4 at the same time. What's next for the Hoi 4 uh, content? All right, so let's go and jump into it, guys. Uh, these guys are already attacking. We already built the port over there. So let's just go and let them continue. Uh, and we'll start pushing forward here. And the Spanish did join the Axis. Because it's 1947. We do have the historical focuses on, so that was a change where they don't join as soon anymore. Uh, it does take them a long time to join, but they do eventually join, as we've just seen. Uh, and unfulfilled. Oh, it looks like it doesn't affect us anymore. Alright, so let's make sure we continue to attack. Let's just go all the way across. Yeah, let's just go all the way over here. And uh, get these uh, marines pushed back and hopefully get a, b a bit of territory before the, the Japanese send a lot of troops over here. You can see it, they're already pumping troops, so this is going to be a problem. Uh, we do have more divisions coming. I am a bit worried about the supply situation. Uh, we'll have to see what happens in that regard. But we have to get, at the very least, off of this island here so we can build the port up. Uh, and National Spain, sorry. We'll send them where we please, damn it. Yeah, we're not going to send, even though I'm not planning on helping the allies much longer, I'm not going to piss them off while we're while we're in the alliance with them still. Uh, so we did get that heavy cruiser bonus, uh, research bonus. So let's go ahead and get, what do we want next? 
There's naval aviation for if we wanted to go with carriers. Obviously, those do take a long time to build. Could train up the marines as well. Uh, I guess we'll go ahead and train the marines up. Get the marine tech a little bit sooner. Sinking convoys still throughout here, those uh, Japanese convoys. Uh, a lot more troops here that we're fighting now. We're still winning. Uh, we're also waiting for those divisions to get here. Ten coming from over here. And then, of course, we have the other ones right here. Uh, those are the, the armored ones that we had. Oops, I didn't realize it wasn't playing. Those are the ones we had pulled out. And then, of course, we have this invasion planning, too. Uh, just take a look how long that, that one's going to take. It's going to be 70 days. It's quite a while. Gibraltar has fallen already. Uh, with the Spanish now in the war. And overall, the Axes are just in a very good position. They are stupidly powerful in this one. Without the player up against them, that's typically what happens. And you know what, guys? I am going to go ahead and get involved uh, over here. These troops ain't doing nothing. Let's push these guys out. Maybe we can get it for ourselves. It's not impossible. Let's just see. At the very least, we'll be able to get it for ourselves when we go against the Allies if you guys do choose that option. If we keep this in Axis hands, I won't be able to get control of it. So that's one you know thing to consider is that we can get all this for ourselves without having to tight fight the, the Axis. So we will go ahead and help out in that. And what do we what do we need to do here? We had a notification about something. Uh, oh, Canada. Oh, are they being invaded or something? Are they losing territory? No. Okay. It's interesting that they have, maybe they changed up their trade laws. Because they have less resources for us, though it's not much, much less. It's really not too bad. Uh, but let's go ahead and trade with... Let's do the United States. Oh, wait, no. We won't do the United States. We'll do the... No, can't do the Dutch either. How about the UK? Yeah, we can do the UK. All right. So they are attacking us here now. Uh, we attempted to attack them. Uh, okay, it looks like we should win. Remember, we're still getting those 10 divisions. Uh, but so far, looking pretty good. Uh, even those divisions aren't quite as good. Remember, they're still not bad. Uh, this is... Uh, I think it's 20. 20 with template. Maybe it's not even that, actually, now that I look at it. Uh, we did get the early cruiser hull done. Excellent. Let's go with the next one. I'm not going to design any early cruiser hull ones. Uh, they're just, yeah, it's not very good. So let's go ahead and continue down the other one. Plus, it's only 53 days because we do have that research bonus. We got paratroopers trained up. I don't know if we'll ever use those. I suppose we'll see. Uh, getting all these troops over to here so that we can help out there. Uh, once again, still waiting on that invasion. And it looks like we should succeed here. Which is very good. I wanted to get at least to this point before the other divisions got here. Uh, and yeah, they're going to slowly make their way over to the front line. And uh, then we'll start uh, branching out here with these divisions. Uh, I, I don't think that they'll be able to stop us here. I don't expect them to be able to. Uh, but they do have a lot more troops defending their homeland than is typical of Japan. And now we can't get what we need from the UK. Alright, they have seven available. We don't want that. Uh, just taking a look at the other, I guess Australia has enough for us. Yeah, having some difficulty because they keep on pumping troops over here, more and more divisions. Uh, we do have a decision available. Oh, hold up, what's this? Okay, so it looks like Australia was given control of these, this territory, by the way. Uh, let me just take a look here. Yeah, looks like, uh, nope, not that territory. Uh, you know what, I don't actually know what they gave them. British gave him something. I thought there was... I know that there's national focus. You know what? It's maybe this. Yeah, okay. They give them... Uh, instead of giving the territory, they give them control of the puppet. Uh, so now British Malaya is a puppet of Australia. Okay. Not that that changes much because they are conquered. Uh, but something to consider. Uh, also, we have the public recognition of these guys, which we do not want to do. Not interested in it. Uh, Japanese are still having pretty good success here in the Philippines, which means we wouldn't be able to get control of that without also fighting them. More and more difficulty here. Uh, Alright, well, we're getting more troops coming there. But it does look like we now can no longer do it. Uh, we'll keep them fighting, uh, but we're getting more troops coming here soon. And hopefully we don't face supply issues. It does look like there are some supply problems here. Okay, uh, we got the advanced light battery. So we're going to need to apply those to our ships. I think heavy cruisers are the medium battery. Uh, I want to say they are. Not entirely sure. That's what it's saying here. Yeah, I want to say the the medium cruisers are the, or excuse me, the heavy cruisers are the medium battery, and this is for. Oh God, I hope, I hope I'm not wrong here, but I think that this is for battleships. Yeah, it's got to be that, right? 
Yeah, I think this is for cruisers. We're going to go for that. I could be wrong. I could definitely be wrong there. All right, so we're going to go ahead and get that tech. Uh, and do we want to apply this to our... I guess we can finish, at the very least, finish building the destroyer. We'll finish building this one before we add another one on there. Still getting these troops over here, these divisions. And we're going to have them all attack. Uh, you know, obviously, they, they're not going to have the... Uh, the cabinet with for them all to go into it. But what we'll do is we'll go ahead and pull these guys back because clearly uh, they're exhausted. Uh, these guys would actually be better for the attack. So you know what? Let's just pull all of them back and then have the infantry do the attack. Yeah, there we go. That's green. And then we'll just take any remaining divisions and they can, you know, reinforce later. All right, so sh and also that'll allow them to travel uh, since they're much, much faster. Uh, so yeah, should be able to win that. Hopefully, uh, and hopefully the Americans don't pump a bunch of divisions into this port because that would be a pain. Obviously, we have no desire to have their troops here. 22 of 70 days there. Uh, and let's take a look at the situation here and see if there's any uh, attacks we can do. All right, I'm seeing something here. I would like to grab this port and then cut off from right here. That way, oh, and they're down here as well. Okay, let's see what we can do. Let's go and tackle it this way. Get them attack in there, and then go ahead and attack this way as well. Looks like that would not be a win. All right, so let's go and pull it back. There must be too many divisions there. Might be able to get a win there, but probably not. All right, and remember, we are being affected by supply. This whole, this whole, uh, in this whole area, it's just uh, kind of crappy supply. All right, that does not leave a lot of options. We're getting more troops coming. We'll just have to wait. Uh, let's get the planning bonus up as well, though I think we already have uh, a full planning bonus, if I'm not mistaken. All right, so we got those guys coming. Uh, there's something else I was gonna do. Uh, oh yes, uh, we could give them some air support. I think that would be helpful indeed. Although there's not a lot of spots open for it. No, not really. We'll give them what we have. Uh, we actually do have a fighter here that's doing pilot exercises. Whoops. <laughs> um, where is he at? He's right there. I didn't realize I had planes there. I think I spent. I was supposed to put him over here. Uh, but that's fine. We'll put him over here. Uh, I didn't even realize that he was... I never did take him off of the pilot exercises. Uh, that's awesome. All right. So now we have some fighters here. Uh, we'll go in and get some... If we have them, tactical bombers. And you know what? We should probably focus tactical bombers over here. Yeah, because we only have the 157 here. And I don't think we have any stockpiled either. No, not really. All right. Well, we can add more bombers uh, to help deal with the, the Navy. Yeah, let's, uh, we got enough there. Let's go ahead and add some more over to here, then. I'm just going to put them right here. I uh, got some more naval bombers. And we might bring some uh, fighters over here as well. Let's have these guys provide some more support here. And then, yeah, we'll go ahead and bring the fighters from over here. I doubt their range will allow them to reach, but it's fine. All right, so let's get these guys helping out over here. All right, looking pretty good. It's a bummer we don't have any more tactical bombers. Uh, you know, they take a bit of time to, to build. All right, looks like we did win this attack here. Excellent. Let's go ahead and make sure that we're bringing in all the troops. Get everybody going across here. And did sink another destroyer, another Japanese destroyer here. All right, now that we sent more planes over here, we're seeing a little bit more success on our bombings. Uh, looks like we also won there. Fantastic. Let's go and attack again. And uh, start pushing towards Bangkok. And, yeah, still just waiting for some troops along here. Uh, here would be a good spot to cut down. That doesn't look like that's going to work, though. All right, let's just go and stop that attack, though. Clearly not going to be effective. Supply is going to be an issue there. Uh, it's going to be hard uh, because of all the, the supply issues. I don't expect to get this conquest of Japan done in one episode. Uh, do we want to do this? Sure. Sure, we'll do it. Just taking a look at the equipment. Support equipment is currently the only thing that we're actually lacking. Uh, we'll take a look see. Yeah, we can go up to 15 here, I suppose. Uh, any new factories you get, we'll go there. Because we should be getting new factories from... What the hell, man? God damn it. <laughs> Oh, so we got them going first, and then we'll send everybody. God, that's frustrating. They pulled it back when we had clearly won. I don't know what had happened there. We might have to watch this closely. Uh, they'll keep screwing us over on it. All right, so we did win here. Um, I don't really care if they... Yeah, they can go there. Let's see if we can win here. Not quite. Let's go ahead and send another division over here. 
and see what we can do. I've noticed that there's less numbers here, it looks like. Maybe we can get a win there now. No, still not going to be able to get a win, unfortunately. There must be a ton of Japanese divisions here. All right, let's go ahead and move this guy over here then. Just to get closer to Bangkok. Let's take a look and see what we did. We got convoys. Uh, I should probably make sure. Oh, India's capitulated. All right, not surprising. We expected that. They weren't going to make it. Uh, and yeah, just having some difficulty here, likely due to, you know, with problems. Uh, but eventually, we'll get the win. Uh, but again, it looks like it's going to take a little while. Uh, so we did finish up that destroyer. Uh, so let's go ahead and get a new one built in. Uh, and we are going to do same destroyer design, but we are going to be changing them up a bit. Uh, and see what we have here. I don't know what all we've gotten since then. Looks like we have uh, much better light batteries now. So we're going to want to get those equipped. We also have the mine warfare ability. Okay. Uh, so did we get, we did not get the radar yet. All right. Uh, just taking a look at everything that we have here. So we're going to want to get the better guns on there. Uh, so let's do that now. And I don't think there was anything else that we needed that I saw there. So let's just go ahead and save this. It's only six experience. And let's get these guys built. Again, we'll probably just build one right now. Because uh, we're constantly getting new stuff. Uh, and it, it looks like it's going to take till 13th of September to get that destroyer built anyways. Because, uh, yeah, we don't even have the full... Unfortunately, don't have the full uh, dockyards to give to them. Alright, also having more unfulfilled import requests. Uh, okay. Let's pull it back then. And have to figure out who to trade with. Looks like the Dutch now have a little bit more for us. And sinking more convoys. Excellent. Okay. So we did win here. Now we just need to... We just need to win right there. They are pulling troops off of this way. So we might be able to get a win somewhere. I guess we could try attacking here again. Oh, well, I guess we should probably let them leave first, huh? Yeah, that'd probably be wise. Not really seeing any other areas where we can attack. I mean, I'll try and reduce the front in some of these areas if possible. Uh, I think that would be helpful. Because, yeah, the front right now is so wide that we can only put, you know, one or two divisions on each province, which is, frankly, not enough. Let's see what happened over here. One convoy sunk. Okay. Still, um, having difficulty here. I wonder how many divisions they have there. They only have four, uh, but, they, you know, they have been entrenching a little bit. Of course, we have the control of the skies. You can see how much damage they're doing. Uh, so that's helpful, those tactical bombers that we have. I think that's the best use of them, frankly, is using them for the close air support instead of, uh, you know, using them for naval bombing or anything like that. And yeah, we'll just keep on sending troops and we should be across there eventually. Uh, and we did get a port strike done. All right, I just want to take a look at how their navy's doing. Because remember, they still do have a presence, a naval presence, and they can certainly pose a threat to all of our convoys that we have going across the sea. Uh, so, we're very close to getting to Bangkok. Uh, now we just need to attack and hopefully get control of it. So I'm going to send a bunch of divisions over there in the hope that we get control of Bangkok and shut down uh, all port access here. Uh, it does look like it's well defended, so we might not be able to do it. I'm going to keep on attacking there and seeing what happens. Uh, we did reduce the size of the front some, so that's good to see. We're going to attack here as well to reduce it just a little bit more. Uh, it's unfortunately a little bit necessary for us to do these attacks. Uh, it's just, uh, front's too damn wide, man. All right, there we go. Uh, that destroyer is almost sunk. Probably should have been sunk. I don't know why we didn't. It's at 0% health. All right, and we're just going to keep on launching these attacks to get them pushed back. Uh, we've been on the defense in this kind of situation before, so it can be it can be difficult to get there. Um, we've got somebody there, but now they're going to keep on attacking us, so we have to get all these troops here in a position where they can't dislodge us now. We did sink a heavy cruiser. Excellent. And we lost a ton of planes against that battle cruiser. All right, here we go. All of our troops are here, uh, and we want to now fan out uh, and get these provinces. Uh, so let's send the faster divisions here first, and then we're going to want to take, like, just a couple tanks. Or, you know what, just send, like, one. I guess we'll send two that way. And two this way. And then get the infantry. Uh, most of the infantry are likely going to be attacking. Is what I'm thinking. I think we still have infantry coming. Yeah, so let's go and attack because we have to lock these guys down. 
And then we'll take uh, one of the, each of these guys and have him go. And then I think I have one tank that's not attacking somewhere. Can't see him, but he's here. I know it. All right, maybe not. <laughs> All right. So, not trying to win there, just trying to get around them here. That's the, the best way for us to do this. We'll send a division over that way. Alright, so they're attacking us now. We have, uh, we're gonna try and get around them, try and get to this, this point here to, to cut off all those Japanese troops so we don't have to fight them all the way across Japan, because obviously that would be a pain in the ass. Let's just take a look at the situation over here. Uh, it does look like we are gonna lose on the attack on Bangkok, but we're gonna keep on attacking there. Just throwing men at them. It, yeah, that doesn't look like it's gonna be successful at all. All right, but that's a shame. I could try again here, but it looks like there's even more divisions there than there was before. Frankly, we just need to keep on decreasing the size of the front as of right now. Yeah, it just doesn't look like we're gonna be able to do it otherwise. Uh, we could attack here. Looks like that would be an opening. So we'll go and attack there. I'll take a division here and go across there. Just to maybe we'll be able to lock those guys down. All right, let's dip back over to here and see how we are doing pushing forward here yeah they're just pumping a ton of divisions over here uh, but yeah they can't possibly stop us I should have moved these guys as soon as they're done defending so we want the fast faster units being the ones pushing forward here still defending here all right so let's go ahead and now get these guys moving and that way probably gonna have to pull back on this one because that'd be an attack across a river so not exactly desirable we did win there a little bit quicker than I was expecting. Uh, that's attack across the river. We'll let it keep going for right now. It's gonna send one more of these tanks. We'll have him go this way. Let's take uh, infantry and have him go grab that province for us. All right, let's send some more units over here. All right, uh, we won't attack across here. I do want to cut divisions off if possible. Uh, and yeah, this is clearly not going to work. So let's pull that back. And we would just send an infantry division over here. Let's go ahead and take a look and see what kind of damage we did. Heavy cruiser sunk, excellent, uh, and a light cruiser, and a battleship. All right, so they're bringing their ships out because they're scared, and that is allowing us to sink a bunch of them. Uh, looks like the <laughs> axes are coming up over here, so they might, might end up losing on this territory. Oh, Lord. All right. Well, nothing to be done about it. Uh, they uh, did not defend India. Instead, they focused almost entirely on defending over here. And they did pay for it. Uh, Bangkok, Bangkok seems extremely well defended. I think it's going to be problematic trying to get there. Uh, let's attack here, uh, and we'll send the tanks in as well. And then let's take these guys, have them go here, and then that guy go there. Just looking for other places where we can close this up a little bit. I don't know that that'll work, but we'll try. Try and make that happen. Uh, also, another location where we might be able to close up the front a bit would be right there. Looks like that would not succeed, so let's just go ahead and stop that. Alright, go ahead and cancel all these here. And take a look what we sunk a destroyer. And do a little bit more bombing here. See it 43% for that uh, heavy cruiser. Alright, so we haven't been paying attention here, uh, but we haven't made any progress just yet that we needed to be aware of. Uh, we did grab this province, let's go send another division over here. It seems that we did have to fight somebody there. That's okay. Uh, and we're having to fight somebody here as well. We did get operational destruction. Uh, we're going to continue down here. And we're going to continue using the air experience to, to, to move as quickly as possible. Uh, this would be useful against the allies if we did end up fighting them. So we're going to want to do... I mean, this is not mutually exclusive, so we can do both. Uh, but it's a matter of which one we want to do first. Obviously, we want to get the, the one that gives us the, the naval bonuses. And we'll accept this is only 95 convoys. All right, so we're getting more troops coming over there. We should probably send them another infantry division. And have these guys attack as well. All right, so we just need to get that point there. Um, and we have to do it, yeah, without... I'm really trying to cut troops off, but this could be could be trouble. Could be uh, hard to do. I don't know. Let's wait until this finishes up, and then we'll do an attack here. Right there, uh, and see how that ends up going. We're going to attack with... All these troops here, we're just going to leave the one infantry. And hopefully we get a win there. We will have to attack here, but just enough to lock them down. Uh, we don't actually want to win there. Uh, just enough to get them where they, they can't retreat here. 
Uh, same thing with these guys here. Uh, let's just attack with these guys. Again, we don't actually want to win, so we may want to pull some of them back. Just to get so that we can get control of that province, keep these guys locked down. Uh, and some of them are going to treat. There's no way around that. Uh, sunk another destroyer, another two destroyers. Okay, we did win there. Uh, let's try and cut off these troops here now. We'll use the tank, and then we'll support with the mountain troop. Although it doesn't look like that's going to be good enough. No. All right, but well, this is a shame. We're defending here, so we have to actually wait until we get that other division over here. Let's go ahead and have this guy come over here. And just see if there's anywhere else where we can make some attacks. Uh, yeah, we just don't have the numbers here, man. And then we'll help with those guys once they get here. And we'll see if we can't close this off. Uh, we did take that uh, province. Excellent. Let's see if we can win here. Yeah, that, that's a green. Maybe we can close these dudes off here. In which case, yeah, we'd want to attack here. And that gives us the benefit of uh, locking them down as well. We'll see. Uh, we'll see what we can do. Let's go ahead and attack with these guys now. Because, uh, yeah, they clearly lost. <laughs> uh, we'll have to support that attack. Let's get those other troops coming. Got a destroyer sunk. And let's see how we're doing over here. All right, so we did push them back. Looks like, yeah, we're forcing troops to retreat, which isn't exactly what I wanted, but that's okay. Not really anything to be done about it. We just need to grab this province here. And I don't think anybody here is attacking, so let's... Make sure that we attack them there. Keep them locked down. And there we go. Excellent. So, now, I don't even care that these are across rivers. We just want to get these guys destroyed as quickly and as efficiently as possible. Uh, let's go ahead and let those guys go there and just take any divisions that are here and have them launch attacks. Kind of hard to see who's all here. I know that there's some there. Alright, just get these guys destroyed. We do need more troops over here. In fact, so much so that I should probably put another division going over there. Uh, it does look like they should be able to hold out. Uh, we have another free dockyard uh, available, so let's place that into... Oh, it looks like we seized their dockyards. Excellent. Uh, so let's place those into the destroyers. And then we're just going to do... Yeah, just do the convoys for right now, because we can use that for the uh, heavy cruisers. Uh, we did get a light cruiser and two destroyers sunk. Uh, the Japanese Navy's got to be hurting pretty bad. Oops, didn't mean to click on that. Let's take a look at their number of ships. They're probably about, uh, I don't know, maybe 40-something ships. Not a lot, guys. Uh, they're not doing well. We did win here. Uh, excellent. And we didn't even need these other divisions. Okay, well, that's good to see. Uh, looks like we won here as well, so we should be able to cut these guys off. But they are leaving, so we're going to have to attack. Make sure that they don't, they don't go anywhere. Let's attack over this way. Again, just try and lock them down while these guys cut them off. Uh, that'll be a big victory for us. Uh, it doesn't look like we won there. That's okay. That's all right. Can't win them all. Okay. Uh, so it's gonna take a while to get all these troops uh, destroyed. Let's just take a look how many we have. At the we don't know exactly, but there's five here. Uh, yeah, so five right there, and then right here there's another five. Uh, so at least ten divisions, but these retreat divisions aren't counted. So it's a it's a big win. Uh, that's a lot of a lot of troops. Let's go ahead and start pushing forward if we can. Yeah, we can. So let's go ahead and make that happen then, since this shouldn't take too long to get done. Should be able to get this wrapped up soon now that we've won on one side. Okay. Let's take a look here. We've got a destroyer sunk. And we'll just let our, con our troops continue up there in the north. And let's take a look here. We did cut these guys off. Excellent news. Uh, now we need to work on getting them destroyed, uh, which could be difficult, I would assume. Let's see uh, how it goes. Because remember, they are cut off from the supply now. And now we got to get to Bangkok. Uh, we'll see what we can do. We are losing here. All right. Yeah, not a lot that we can do there. We're just going to have to wait until we finish that up uh, before we're going to be able to finish. Let's see, you got another destroyer sunk. Okay. I am curious to see how we're doing on getting the, these ships destroyed. We're at 36% for that carrier. Another destroyer sunk there. And uh, eight more destroyers patrolling around there. Okay, so these guys, let's have them all attack over here. In fact, go all the way over because you know they're going to start trying to pull back to this front. And let's go and put these guys going that way over there as well. And just wrap this up, please. All you guys attack. Let's try and get it finished up, and then we'll create a new front here. With a planning bonus. All right, so everybody should start moving over there. Getting it done. Uh, let's take a look at the invasion. 
and how we're looking here. Uh, eight more days, and then we'll do that, do that invasion. I'm guessing the Japanese pumped troops up to the north, and so they're going to have some problems there. All right, so they're attacking across here, across the river. It's not going to go well for them. Uh, I wonder if we can get a win here. It looks like we can, so we'll go ahead and push them back there. Uh, we just got to reduce the size of the front so that we can put more divisions. Oh, these guys are about to lose. Oh, snap. Hmm. All right, I have to put another division over there. It does look like they are going to defeat us there. That does mean these guys are going to have to pull back. It's clearly not going to work. Okay. Uh, so just about got all these guys here destroyed. Yeah, these guys are just about done. we got to keep that going long enough, though. we got the 1936 cruiser holes. Excellent. Uh, do we want to go ahead and we still have a bonus for it, so might as well get the 1940s because, again, just 53 days is not, not too bad. I uh, got another destroyer sunk there. Let's take a look at what the unfulfilled import requests. Just a lot of problems with the aluminum, apparently. Everybody's losing their aluminum supplies, I guess. Uh, so that'll change it up. We're going to be short 13 now. Uh, we might need to continue trading with the French here. Yeah, that's how it looks. Uh, the Canadians have a bit more, but it's fine. All right, there we go. Excellent. Uh, do we have any troops that are done training? We do. We have these paratroopers done. So let's go ahead and just put them into their own army. Are all the paratroopers done? Yeah, it looks like I could have just clicked on them that way, but whatever. It's fine. Let's get them pulled off. Uh, I don't even know if we're ever going to use these. I, I suppose if we were doing invasions uh, around this area, then we would. All right, so pushing forward here. It doesn't look like they're going to stop us. We will continue to get that port, though, uh, until... Let me just see here. I guess we'll build one more. Let's just tick this down until we're only building one more. I don't think it's gonna be a problem. I think we should be able to push into here. We might as well finish that port just in case. And we already have it constructed uh, pretty close to being done anyways. All right, so yeah, I get all these troops getting across there. And yeah, they, there's just a little bit of resistance, but it's not too bad. Uh, these guys here are done, excellent. They weren't able to push us back in time. All right, so now all those troops do need to get onto this front here. This looks like we got pushed back there, unfortunately. All right, so that's a shame. We just have to wait till we get all of our divisions over to the fronts. Let's take a look. Uh, three destroyers sunk there and a convoy. Anything else? And another destroyer there. Yeah, there's definitely no way that they're going to be able to, uh, you know, keep their navy, uh, you know, a, a decent size at the rate that we've been destroying them. This is gonna be a little bit more challenging until we get the rest of our divisions. Let's just go and make sure that they all go. Well, I suppose we can finish uh, finish up here. Uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and get the artillery 30 days away. And we're gonna be using that for our division designs. Uh, speaking of division designs, I did name these. I don't think I mentioned that yet since we started the episode. Uh, based on your guys' suggestions. Uh, so uh, we went with swooping uh, swooping cranes. Where the hell is that? Uh, swooping cranes here for the paratroopers. Uh, so that was one of you guys' suggestions. And then the other one was, oh yes, uh, armored dogs. Uh, so because we did go through all of the, all those, uh, you know, kung fu styles, uh, we, we named, you know, we have dragons, tigers, snakes, uh, cranes, and leopard. Uh, since we ran through all of them, now we needed another uh, kind of way to, to name our, our divisions. And somebody suggested that we do it off of... Uh, and Chinese zodiac symbols, uh, and they suggested maybe dogs. I think they had a couple other ones, dogs, pigs, or something else for the light tanks. So I called them armored dogs. So that's what we have for the light tanks. All right, so it looks like we are going to win here, even without most of our uh, divisions there. Another destroyer sunk there, and another light cruiser sunk there. All right, pretty good. Yeah, I'm going to let them uh, wrap this up here. Those troops do have a port. Hopefully, they don't attack too much behind us. They are pushing forward here, which. Isn't exactly a bad thing, uh, because yeah, that'll result in less troops in Bangkok in here, so I'm actually going to allow it. And we're going to attack here with all we have, try and get a win there. And we're also going to attack here with everything that we got as well, and that is still not going to be enough, unfortunately, so we'll have to pull that back. Alright, uh, so let's take a look. Two more destroyers sunk there, excellent. And uh, still advancing here, we do have that port now. Uh, fantastic, that's a little bit larger, uh, slightly larger than the other port we were using. Go ahead and start moving troops uh, over to here. And we'll have to take two troops just to lock these guys down. Uh, in fact, it looks like we'd win anyways. Can we launch our naval invasion? Because, uh, yeah, this will make things much easier. Uh, looks like we don't have enough control here. Oh, what a shame. 
What a shame, guys. Well, we do have that other ship uh, that I never did place. Uh, we have these two guys. So what we're going to do is let's place... Hmm. And we have all the level 1s there. We actually have a level 2 there. Let me just take a look here. These are level 3s. So what we're going to do is we're going to keep them all together for right now. And, uh, you know, keep the level 1s with the level 2s and all that kind of good stuff. Place these guys up here. What we're doing is we're just changing up these ship symbols here. So we know that I like their their uh, symbol kind of indicating what their job is. Uh, so I use this typically for our patrols. So let's go ahead and put these guys on patrol. Could do convoy production as, uh, protection as well uh, to protect all these convoys that are going across. Uh, and I'm tempted to, but you know what? Let's do these patrols because we do need to control see, uh, seize control of this region here. Uh, so we can do this damn invasion because uh, I yeah it looks like we're not quite there yet. Uh, so maybe with that those other two ships maybe that'll be enough. I don't actually know. Let me just make sure that I don't have any other ships sitting around. No. All right. So yeah, it doesn't look like it was enough. Uh, not quite. Anyways, for us to go ahead and launch this invasion, we need to get that up a little bit higher. All right. Two destroyers sunk there, and let's go ahead and have. All right. So these guys are pushing forward here, and we're defending there. All right. So not really much we can do there. Uh, we did win here. Excellent. Uh, so I want to cut these guys off if we can. It's kind of a bummer I haven't been able to win here. I'm going to try again. Because, yeah, that would reduce it. Looks like we would win that time, so we'll keep it going. And soon we'll be attacking here. We are done defending, so let's attempt an attack here. Uh, we have another division coming over there. He'll help us defend. Let's see if that's a win. So we can get control of Bangkok, cut off these uh, units here. Yeah, I think that'll work out nicely. Hopefully, anyways. All right, so let's dip back over to Japan. Uh, see what we can do here. Let's get uh, troops moving. You know, in fact, those guys should go that way. They'll go this way. Actually, they'll go that way. <laughs> and then have just all these troops come on over here. All right, excellent. Again, just locking troops down. We're gonna try and get around them to get the train marines. Uh, so let's do naval aviation next. I don't know if we'll actually use carriers. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, they do take a long time to build and we don't really have a ton of dockyards at the moment. Let's go ahead and push forward here. We have more divisions to come up and hold the province for us. Push forward over here, and let's keep our tanks going. It does look like we're going to have to defend here, but that's okay. This division is going to basically push them back almost on its own. They must be having some supply issues. Um, I wouldn't be shocked. Not supply issues, necessarily. I mean equipment issues. I would not be shocked that they are having some equipment problems. Yeah, so we just don't have control of the region, uh, the sea region, unfortunately. Uh, so not able to do that naval invasion. Let's take a look. Uh, we did win here. Excellent. Uh, hopefully we can continue to grab that, which means we will want to attack across uh, the river there uh, to make sure that they can't pump any more troops over to here. And just lock them down long enough to get our, our divisions uh, to Bangkok. And that'll be a big win for us. It might even force them to capitulate. I don't know. And they might have already capitulated, though. I'm not entirely sure. I think they did capitulate. Yeah, pretty sure they did. It's going to go over this way. Bring the tank over here to keep on advancing. And bring these guys as well. They move ahead of their front a little bit. That's okay. I'm not too worried about it. All right. Uh, looks like they're going to attack there. That's fine. Let's take a look here. Got two more destroyers sunk. And we have more free dockyards. So taking all the dockyards from the Japanese is going to be super helpful, but at the same time, oh, we finished our destroyer. Okay, uh, that's right, because I didn't want to build more than one, because uh, I didn't know how that was going to look. So I'm not entirely sure why this is blinking at me, but what we'll do... Oh, we can't even build that one. Let's just... Oh, that's the cruiser hole. Okay, my bad. <laughs> uh, yeah, we're not interested in that one. Uh, let's go ahead and get another destroyer building out then. All right, and I have them placed here. Uh, that does mean that we do have a destroyer that's done, a level 3 destroyer, so we'll go put them in that level 3 destroyer fleet. I believe that's it, yes. So that hopefully will give us a little bit higher percentage. Doesn't look like it's a great percentage overall, though. Uh, not even close to enough yet to do the invasion. All right, uh, so let our troops continue over there. Uh, so we're kind of fighting in two regions now, so it is difficult. Uh, we do need to make sure this guy stays on this front. All you guys need to stay on this front, in fact. And these guys here can go in and wipe them out, or try to anyway. Uh, it's not the best troops to do the job here. Uh, in fact, let's go ahead and have these guys help them out, and we'll go ahead and support here. Try and get that done. Uh, push them back. Did finish up the base at medium battery. Excellent. 
Uh, so let's continue. And let me make sure that that's what I want. Uh, that is the one, I'm pretty sure. Um, I always forget which ones are which. So let, let's uh, take a look at the cruiser hole and see if, yeah, that's the heavy cruiser battery. Okay, that's what I thought. I wasn't sure though. So we'd wanna put that in there. Uh, I think we need armor and stuff before we, we build the cruisers. Even crappy cruisers should have some ar armor. Uh, so let's go ahead and build. Uh, yeah, we don't have shit. Uh, so yeah, we have to get this armor here. Let me see if there's anything else that we're neglecting because I'm pretty sure we're, we're using a lot of text right now. Yeah, we got a lot of text going towards naval text right now. Uh, two, I guess we could continue with three then. That's fine uh, since we do need so much stuff. Uh, in fact, we should probably do the invasions, the invasion uh, text here, transport text. That'd be pretty useful to have uh, for the later invasions. But for right now, let's focus on the one thing at a time. Uh, we'll get the cruiser armor holes there. So we can add that to our, our ships. It's gonna go this way again, just attacking here. Everybody should be going over here. Just trying to lock those guys down while we get behind them. I really don't want to have to fight them all the way across the continent if we can, or all the way across, I, I call it Japan a continent. <laughs> all the way across their island if we can. Uh, so we're gonna continue going this way. Uh, and I didn't mean to push them back. That wasn't desirable. So that's a shame. Yeah, I didn't actually want to win that. Uh, okay, looks like it didn't matter. All right, let's get them destroyed. I don't know how many troops here are here right now. Uh, six divisions. Uh, might have been more if we got any of them, uh, if we had overrun any of them. And uh, now we do have more dockyards again. Uh, yeah, do we want to... We're going to wait to get the cruisers. What we could do is start mining it, though. Uh, yeah, that's what we'll do. We'll go ahead and start mining it, uh, which means we need to get another destroyer uh, model. So we're going to use these guys, I suppose. So maybe we should use a... Because we want these guys to primarily be... There's really not a lot here. Um, it shouldn't take too much experience. Let me see. So that's one experience that removed. We'd have to put the guns on there. I think this is still the best way to do it. Yeah. Uh, and then we're going to go ahead and place the uh, mine lane rails. And I think we'll, yeah, we'll definitely replace that. I don't actually know that this is the best way experience wise, uh, rather than because the other option would be to take the basic hole, the 1940 hole, and then from there build it out. Uh, I, yeah, okay, that's what we'll do. That's probably gonna be the best way to do it. So let's go and show outdated equipment. Let's find that 1940 basic hole. And this would probably be more optimal. You do have to have the light batteries on there. We'll put the best ones that are available to us. And we'll put anti-air as well. Uh, that's 10 experience and oh you know what? we won't put anything there so that we can build it quicker and then just get so that's 20 experience is that the optimal way of doing this sorry we, we have a shortage of experience guys so we have to do this uh optimal so i do apologize that uh having to <laughs> show all this on camera uh, hold up. I think that's it. And it's only 13 experience. So in fact, that is the superior way to do it. Glad I checked because I did save us some experience. So let's go ahead and save that. Uh, those are going to be our mine layers and we'll go ahead and give them icon. I'm not naming any of them right now, guys. Typically I do, but uh, we're not going to in this one. We're just going to... Oh, damn it. Shit. <laughs> Oops, my bad. I didn't mean to, to do that. So we're going to have to bring them back. Yeah, that's my bad, guys. Uh, but that's fine. Uh, that is fine, as long as we have both of them in here. Uh, so let's go ahead and have uh, these guys build the mine layers. And we're going to go ahead and pull back the dockyards from there again. Put them all into here. And get the, the mine lane destroyers uh, built so they can just focus on lane mines. I could have put even crappier equipment on them. Uh, and that would have uh, you know helped us out. Uh, we've got another division coming over there. All right, that's fine. But yeah, it would have helped us get those those mine layers done a little bit quicker. But giving them some very basic equipment I don't think is a bad idea. Let's go ahead and push forward here. Need more units to get their asses over here. Uh, take advantage of the fact there's no Japanese troops to stop us. They might not even have any Japanese. There might not be any troops to, to stop our expansion now. Uh, yeah, we could very well end up doing this with, with ease at this point. Uh, we do get more military factories. So it's going to get those assigned. Are we still short on the support equipment? Just barely, not much. All right, well, 
I guess we'll continue pumping into it because that's still the thing that we're short is on. Though that does cause problems with the aluminum, which, uh, again, we're having some trouble getting that. Uh, that'll be fine if we're short one. All right, so let me take a look at the units. Because remember, we're building these out, uh, and we want to keep them keep them constructing. Uh, you got these guys still building. Let's do... Increase those numbers a bit. And then I think that's probably pretty good. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, did we ever get the... We did not. Still waiting. 18 days. All right, so we might be able to conquer the rest of Japan with, you know, no resistance. Uh, because we did. I mean, Tokyo looks like it might be wide open. Uh, yeah, we might have destroyed all the troops here. In which case, I might want to put this into the hands of the AI so that this goes a little bit faster. And if there's nobody here to stop us, I see zero reason in not doing that. So let's go ahead and do it. Let's give them a line here. We might not even need our invaders now. Uh, let's send them. They're on aggressive already. So let's go ahead and tell them to execute those orders. And get to push them forward, man. Get to push them forward. Alright, I'm going to have Tokyo soon. There we go. There are some, some defenders. All right, well, you know what? Let's actually keep a division in Tokyo. Let's go and cut off the rest of the country here so nobody else can can reinforce. Let's take a look at what we destroyed here. We got a destroyer and another destroyer. Okay, uh, let's see if these guys are ready. Can they go yet? They cannot. We do not have naval supremacy. I don't think we'll ever send those. We have more dockyards that we seized from Japan. Just put those into convoys for right now. And more military factories. Okay, uh, let's put them in tactical bombers. I'm not happy with our tactical bomber situation. Uh, we could also use the airbase here. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's move the planes that uh, are over here and that are on the home islands. Let's have them go over to here. All right, fantastic. And you know what? Let's go ahead and send another fighter wing that's here. Have him go here as well. Uh, do we have the tactical bombers to place over here? Let's just take a look if we have any. Naval bombers. I know I have some. Interwar bombers, okay. Looks like we just have interwar bombers. Okay. Never mind then. And we still have military factories that I didn't assign. Okay. Uh, let's place them into... I mean, really, we don't... There's not really much we need. How are we doing on infantry equipment? We're stacked up on it. Uh, we have a ton of it. Frankly, uh, this is where it gets kind of tedious, managing your factories. And I'm just so short on the aluminum. I uh, really need to get some of that for ourselves, guys. Uh, let's take a look and see what we're constructing right now. We'll con continue to trade with France here. They're still pretty short. Let's trade with the UK and the United States. Looks like they have a bit more for us. And still short on seven. All right, we'll have to trade with the Hungarians then, unfortunately. All right, uh, more dockyards. Frankly, we need to get the yeah, we gotta get those cruisers, so let's just put them into uh, convoys for right now. Uh, what do we have here? We have the modern tanks. We can go ahead and start constructing those. I don't know why I didn't start doing that yet. Let's go ahead and start building these. Uh, and we'll take all those factories that I put into other stuff and put them into the... Uh, we could also... No, I mean, light tanks are pretty good. Oh uh, yeah, we'll put them into the medium tanks. The modern tanks, excuse me. Modern tanks. Uh, pull from the support equipment because we're looking pretty good on that. And uh, let's see how that changes up the supply situation. So now we have too much aluminum. Oh, resource management and factory management. You gotta admit, you gotta like it. It's enjoyable <laughs> to watch. Uh, so, and that didn't even do it right. And even short on chromium, good God. All right. Trade with the UK then. Let's take a look and see what we're currently building. All right, we, we're pretty busy right now. Uh, you know what? This is probably good for South Korea. I feel like they now have enough uh, ports there. We're not going to build any further. And I don't know that that's actually beneficial. Uh, let me just take a look. It looks like, yeah, we were just trying to build up so we could have more troops there, which we don't even need them there anymore. But we're almost done. We're not almost done, but we've already started working on it, so we'll let them finish it. Uh, we're going to start working on dockyards here. We'll let them continue. Um on the dockyards, but I am going to put some stuff above it, stuff that we could use more right now. For instance, synthetic refineries is one that I'd like to get. Uh, and then we also should take a look and see if we can get any more resources that we need uh, from some of our 
our actual regions here so we can stop trading for it. Uh, yeah, like right there would be incredibly helpful. Uh, just looking at other spots. I have some good resource amounts here. Would be useful getting that ticked up. I don't know if we need to go all the way. Yeah, we'll just go all the way. Looking for other high resource amounts that isn't steel. Uh, that did not produce much, so never mind. Could do here. Could produce a little bit. Um, I, we don't actually need. You know what? I don't know what I was thinking. That's not going to produce enough. Uh, we're going to have to trade for it. You know, it's fine though. It's fine. You can build this stuff pretty quick overall. So we'll prioritize this over the dockyards right now since we are having some resource issues. And it seems that we have more military factories. I thought we had signed all those. Apparently not. Let's go put them into the modern tanks then. And again, causing problems with the chromium here. Uh, that's fine. And did I not assign all these freaking factories? Good God. <laughs> all right, 25, man, shit. And then that causes problems. I just, this is just the tedious part of Hearts of Iron 4 when you get to this period. Often I find myself not wanting to manage it. Like I'm just like, ah, it doesn't matter. All right, so they're trying to get Bangkok back. Uh, it looks like they might have pushed us back here as well, so we're gonna need to attack them there until we can get another division over there. We'll attack them with a couple units, in fact. See if we can't push them back. You never know, might make that happen. Looks like we got pushed back here as well. All right, so some of our divisions are having some difficulty here, guys. Uh, while we had some wins over here, we're having some trouble there. But once we take the homeland, they're gonna have some serious issues. It's not gonna go well for them. Uh, it looks like these guys have not been doing anything. I put this under AI control, expecting them to do something. I don't know why I would ever expect the AI to do anything uh, properly. Just incompetence, man. Yeah, they, they did basically nothing uh, other than what I told them to do. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, they haven't really done shit. All right, so just locking those guys down so they can't get out of here. Uh, I got the basic depth charges, so we'll want to put those under destroyers eventually. Uh, let's go ahead and do, let's see here, do the active sonar, depth charge thrower. Uh, there's something else I said I was going to get. Was it the transport? Yeah, I might have said the transport. Let's do the transport. This will be useful if we do any more, uh, any more invasions. Speaking of invasions, let's take a look and see if these guys are ready to go. And they are ready to go. Uh, so, I don't feel that it's necessary. Because I don't think we're going to launch them. Uh, I think we're just going to put too many troops over here. So, you know, we're not going to launch them unless I feel like we have to. Uh, which, it doesn't seem to be the case. We're going to have control of that port very soon. No reason to put too many troops here and just cause supply issues. So, we won't. Let's go ahead and have this division come over here. And frankly, all of these divisions are just too damn slow. You guys are going to have to come take the dang railroads. Get over here, man. All right. Uh, so that is actually going to be the end of the episode, guys. Uh, we'll take a look at what we destroyed here. Uh, okay, that's it. That's all notifications. And once again, unfilled import request here from somebody. Oh, Lord. Uh, looks like we're having troubles with the aluminum again, of course. It's always a damn aluminum. All right, that's fine for right now. Looking green all the way across here. We did get a division there. Uh, and it looks like we'll win there as well. All right, so looking pretty good on all fronts right now. Uh, and it is going to be another episode to get these guys knocked out, as I expected. That gives us plenty of time for you guys to be able to vote uh, and determine whether we should, once again, end the series with the peace treaty with Japan. So it would completely end the series. Or uh, should we, uh, instead of, you know, ending the series and go to the modded series, should we instead continue it, uh, go to war with the Allies if we can, uh, and then conquer just parts of Asia, specifically Indochina is the main part that I'm interested in. Maybe we'll go further uh, and, and we could attack the Philippines. It does look like Japan might end up getting that into their hands though beforehand though. Uh, but again, all this would go back. That's right. That would all go back to the Allies because Japan would have capitulated. Uh, so yeah, this would be open to us uh, since the Allies will once again hold it all. So we could seize control of Asian territories. Uh, that's an option. Uh, so Go ahead and, and make sure you vote up there in the top right corner. I'm interested to see uh, which way it goes. Uh, if you're a patron, once again, go check out the, that post I made and then you know, watch out for the upcoming poll for the next series. Uh, that's going to be it for this episode. If you enjoyed it, make sure you leave a like on the video, subscribe to our channel, hit that notification bell, leave a comment. 
Hope to see you on the next episode, and thanks for watching, guys.